Hey, I'm Skyler, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about what to do if you get the spinning wheel of doom on your iPhone. Very occasionally, things can go really wrong and your phone can completely freak out. Um, if you're in that spot right now, you know what I'm talking about. You see little white bars spinning round and round and round on the phone. Eventually, it'll just run out of battery and then you won't be able to do anything. If it runs out of battery and you plug it back in, it may show your Connect to iTunes logo. Um, it means that the phone has gone into recovery mode. So first thing you want to do is connect it to iTunes. Uh, if iTunes launches, that's a really good sign. Uh, if it doesn't launch on its own, go ahead and launch it manually. And if it launches and then detects the phone, this is critical, it will actually give you a message that says, iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. Would you like to restore the software of this phone? You just say yes. And if things go well, then it will erase everything, extract the software, download the update, and restore your phone. If things don't go well and there's something seriously wrong with the phone, you may need to do what's called a DFU restore. You can do this on your own or you could take it to a Genius Bar at a nearby Apple store. Um, the way to do it is a little bit tricky. You may want to look up some sort of written guide, uh, but the steps aren't all that bad. So first, connect the iPhone and the computer using your sync cable. Second, hold down your power button or your sleep-wake button and your home button at the same time until everything goes black. As soon as everything goes black, let go of your sleep-wake button. Timing here is absolutely critical. If you don't get it right, it will tell you that it went in recovery mode, but it didn't actually go into DFU recovery mode, which is what you have to do. So keep trying. Um, you'll see the right message eventually. And when you do, then it will extract everything all the way down to the root level of the firmware and reinstall it from that level up. That usually takes care of problems. It will erase your entire phone though, so be aware of that. Hopefully you've got a backup. Um, and if you can't get it to work, the folks at the Genius Bar, as I said before, are willing to help. Uh, good luck. <laughs> I'm Skyler. Thanks for watching.